So, I have a problem. It is November 3rd, which is actually my birthday, so cheers to 25. But I'm going through all of my colonies and seeing which ones I need to condense down because the cluster is too small for the space that they're in. And in doing so, I kind of ran into a problem. You see, I was going through my nukes and I opened up one of the hives and I saw that there were queen cells. Now, as you know, if you see queen cells, then that probably means that you are queenless, especially when you see queen cells on the face of the comb. And this is what I saw. I saw at least like six of them in this hive and it's November. So a hive having to requeen itself and get her mated is definitely not ideal because there are no more drones left. So because of that, she's not gonna be able to get mated well and she's probably not gonna be able to make it through the winter laying eggs. So this was a big problem. But luckily, since I was condensing down all of my colonies, I did have some extra queens because there were some colonies I had to combine so that they could be stronger together for the winter time. So I had a couple extra queens. This worked out to my advantage. So I went through the colony, took out any virgin queens that I saw because I did see one and I took out all of the queen cells that I saw as well. This is very important if you ever want to introduce a queen. And I introduced one of those queens in a cage that had lots of worker bees with her to help keep her healthy. Left it and then came back the next day. Came back checked on that queen and she was still alive so perfect that means they've accepted her so i went to let out of the cage but then for some reason she decided to fly away <laughs> why did she want to fly away i don't know and i also didn't think that mated queens could fly very far so i'm kind of confused why she decided to fly away but Immediately, all of the bees started doing that queenless roar that I've talked about in some of my past videos, where they literally just kind of like walk in circles around the hive and fan all of their wings. And then also on the bottom board, they stood at the entrance and raised their butts in the air, raised their nasonoff glands to release a pheromone to call her back. So when seeing this, I was thinking, okay, they're probably calling her back. But me being impatient, as always, <laughs> I'm sure some of you can relate, I decided to put one of the other mated queens that I had set aside in that colony for the time being in case she doesn't come back. So now we're all caught up to right now. So I have this colony that may be queenless or they may have accepted her and she could be alive. I don't know. We're about to find out. But my hopes is that they accepted this queen that I put in there so that I don't have to try to get them to accept another queen. Luckily, I have one more spare mated queen that I can use in case they didn't accept this one. But yeah, I don't know. So I guess let's open this one up and see if they actually accepted her or not. I know this is definitely not the ideal time to be putting a new queen in a colony, um, especially because I've heard many experienced beekeepers say that there's something about having the colony all be the same genetic as the queen going into winter. Um, it's really important for their health, so I don't know. I guess we'll see. Oh, start the drum roll. Is she alive or is she dead? Oh, wow. Hey, guys, she's alive. And this is one of my really cool ones. At least I think she's alive. Yeah, she's alive. Okay. She is black with gold stripes, so I'm really happy that she actually survived. I was not expecting that because they were acting very aggressive towards her. Um... And I had tried taking her out and letting her walk on the frame to see how they would act. And they balled her immediately. I had to like pretty much squish the bees off of her, but thankfully they did not harm her in any way. And I was able to get them off her before they did. 
And it looks like they're trying to feed her through the cage. All right, cool. Let's let her out and hopefully she doesn't fly away this time. Okay, I was hoping to not have to put on my bee suit. I'm trying really hard to convert to not wearing a bee suit, but my genetics right now are really mean still. Um, have you guys ever noticed that your winter bees pack a mean punch when they sting you? I don't know if it's just me, but every single time I've gotten stung by a winter bee, oh my gosh, it hurts so bad. And my hand, like you see how it's swollen? I got stung in the hand and it's, it's not that bad as it was now. This is what my hand is supposed to look like, and this is what it looks like. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I guess I'll put my bee suit on because they're starting to be a little angry because it's like 55 degrees outside, so they don't really like being opened up when it's a little chilly, but yeah. And have you guys ever noticed that some bees actually have a really gentle sting? Like when you get stung, it doesn't hurt as bad. You don't really swell up. But then other bees, when they sting you, it's almost like you can feel it in your nerves. Yeah, that's how some of my hives are. So it's a good thing I'm gonna be weeding out those genetics because I would like to have, um, I would like to not have to wear a suit all the time. It's kind of a lot. <laughs> Okay, I am just so happy the fact that this queen is not dead and they actually accepted her because this was the queen that I really wanted to keep because she looks so cool. I'll show you guys. Okay, so I am going to take her out and I'm going to let her walk on a brood frame so that I can watch how they react. Her pheromones should have dispersed the whole entire hive, so they should be okay with her when I do that, but I just want to make sure. cleaning her. She's still walking through. They're not bawling her at all. Oh, now she's doing her little call. Can you hear it? Looks like she's been accepted. See how they're all on top of her and they're cleaning her? Don't be alarmed when they do this. You just want to make sure they don't start bawling her and curling their tail down or curling their butts down to try to sting her. <laughs> Okay, clearly I have a lot more to learn in this aspect because they are now trying to ball her. Which makes absolutely no sense to me. So half of them are accepting her and half of them are not accepting her. Hold on, I need to get her out of this ball. Alright, well, I got her in the cage with some bees that are being nice to her. So my guess is that, okay, so the reason that I had to put her in the top box is like I said, they're being really aggressive towards this cage. So I was trying to put her as far away from the main cluster of bees just so that her pheromone could distribute throughout the hive so that they could get used to her first before they end up killing her. So 
I guess what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to put her in between the top box and the bottom box on these frames. I guess I'll leave her for another 24 hours. I put a little bit of honey in here for them for her to eat. Um, but yeah, I definitely have a lot to learn when it comes to queen acceptance um, because this is kind of frustrating, but I mean, what can you do? It is what it is. <laughs> I did check to see if there was another queen in here and there's not, so they kind of need to accept her, otherwise they're not going to have a queen. One other thing though is that we heard that that queen was piping. I thought only virgin queens made that piping noise because they were trying to call other queens to come fight. But she's a mated queen. I've seen her brood pattern. I've seen her lay eggs when, out of the colony that I took her from. So maybe there is another queen and she's calling that queen to come fight. I don't know guys, what do you think is going on? So it is possible that there could be a queen in this colony, but I just don't know it. One thing that I've noticed is that this time of year, those queens really know how to hide. So if you can't find your queen in your colony, that doesn't necessarily mean you don't have a queen. And if you don't have eggs, that doesn't necessarily mean that you don't have a queen either. Cause it's that weird time of year where some of the colonies aren't laying any more eggs. At least right now, they're only laying a little bit of eggs, a very small amount. And like I said, she knows how to hide really well. So I'm gonna check back in tomorrow to see if they will have accepted her by then. I really hope they do because they really need to accept a queen. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to have to combine this with some of my other colonies. So, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> okay, it is now the next day and it's time to check on this colony to see if they are finally going to accept their queen. <laughs> <laughs> um, I brought an extra queen with me just in case that they don't accept her, but fingers crossed that they did. So let's find out. Looks like she's still alive, from what I can see at least. She's still in there. All right, cool. Now let's see if she's actually gonna be accepted. Oh, let's hope. But, gonna throw my suit on real fast because of course, I need better genetics <laughs> in terms of how aggressive they are. Ah. <laughs> Okay, a moment of truth. Let's see. <laughs> I still kind of feel like they're acting aggressively on this cage. I don't know. Maybe I should go through to make sure there's not a queen in here first. Actually, yeah, let's do that. Got some queen cells that I had missed. Can you see them down there? Well, they're kind of covering them. That would make sense. So that's why I must have missed them because like I said, they were covering them. That's why they don't want to accept her. Always check your frames really well, guys. I should have rechecked them yesterday. I don't know how I missed it. But that is why I'm having issues. Problem solved then, that's cool. Okay, no queen. But there were queen cells, which would be why they were not accepting her. So now the question is, 
whether or not I should let her walk or not. Probably not because they're probably still not going to be happy with her. So I'm going to give them a little bit with her without that queen cell. While I treat all of these hives with OA and hope that after they will have accepted her when they realize they don't have any more queens left. Okay, it's been about an hour so far. I'm just going to let her out and see what happens. All right, Whew. let's go. let her walk out on her own in hopes that the ones that are protecting her will protect her from any bees that haven't fully accepted her yet but she's taking forever to walk out is she gonna walk out this looks good Accepted. Finally. I think. They appear to be cleaning her, so. I think problem solved. Um, I'm gonna check back again in a couple days just to make sure she's still walking around and that they didn't change their mind. But I think they accepted her. I think we're finally all good to go. She is one of the most beautiful queens I've ever seen. So I'm really happy that they accepted her. So yeah, hopefully the problem is solved. Thanks for watching guys. I always love having you guys here. It really means the world to me. I know I say this all the time, but I don't think you realize how much it means to me the fact that you guys watch my videos. I put a lot of work into these videos. Um, and yeah, just thank you so much. I hope you have a great day today and I hope you're having fun with your bees this week and I will see you guys soon.